Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're going to be setting up a free developer edition with the Einstein Prediction Builder. So what is the Einstein Prediction Builder? This helps you understand how to use the Prediction Builder, of course. But essentially what this is, and I'm sure you know what developer orgs are, it allows you to test out certain functionality, to build it out, to learn it, whatever your purpose is. This gets you a free edition of the prediction builder within Salesforce. So then you can do with it what you will. Now the prediction builder is a newer thing to Salesforce. It's a newer feature to Salesforce and it is with their Einstein functionalities. So that is all about AI, artificial intelligence and using it to further your business or whatever business you are working with. So I will link this down below for you to be able to sign up and be able to use and you can get on your merry way. But let's go ahead and sign up for it. So. I am going to type in my information here. All right, now we get to be a little creative here. What should I be? I should be a CTO. Um, I'm gonna say it's called solutions. All right, now this is not my actual postal code. Just want to throw that out there. And then we do need to come up with a username. This has to be unique across all Salesforce orgs. So if you've done this a lot where you're creating a lot of free additions, you need to get a little creative with your usernames that you're using. So I'm going to do e, e call at callsolutions.com. All right. So hopefully that one will go through. Let's go ahead and sign me up. All right, so now it is sending us an email. So now this usually takes a couple of minutes depending on a bunch of different factors. It could be that the system is really bogged down. Sometimes different developer orgs because of how much information is needed and how much metadata and whatever you have going on, it will take longer to prepare and set up. Um, I'm doing this on a Sunday, so it should probably be fairly quick because they're Hopefully it shouldn't be a lot of people, but who knows? It could be a little bit slower depending on how the prediction org queue is going. I'll let you know how long about this takes. All right, so that did go through and it probably took about two minutes for that to go. Of course, this will depend on so many different factors. So please be patient with the system and don't do this multiple times or else you'll get some errors. This might have also gone to your spam email, so I would double check that before trying again. I've had this take up to 20 minutes before to get a developer org, so make sure that you are giving it enough time. I am going to click verify account here. So now we do need to put in a password here and then whatever city you were born in. So I am going to enter in a password here. and make sure that it is a match. I know you can't really see it behind my um, my password filler, but it says over here that it's good, and the bottom one says it's a match. And then enter in what city you were born in. I am going to say I was born in Salesforce, um, but that is not where I was actually born. I'm going to click change password here. All right, so now we do have created that developer org. I am going to click start, get started within the prediction builder, and then that should take you to the prediction builder. You can go ahead and practice with Trailhead. You can review the terms and then it'll get you started going on creating your first prediction. But with that being said, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you found this video helpful. Be sure to like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to do more. I know this is more cutting edge of Salesforce. And if you'd like me to do some education on it, I would love to hear that from you. But thank you so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one.